Hello guys, welcome to IS Expert YouTube channel. Today we will know about seismic zones of India. Indian subcontinent has history of devastating earthquakes. So what is the reason for earthquakes? High frequency and intensity of earthquakes is that Indian plate is driving into Asia at rate of approximately 47 millimeters per year. So Indian subcontinent is driving into Asian plate. Almost 58% of India in is vulnerable to earthquakes. The Bureau of Indian Standard BIS has grouped the country into four seismic zones. Zone 5, 4, 3 and 2. There is no zone 1. So previous version consisted of 5 or 6 zones per country. So there are only 4 zones right now. According to present zoning map, zone 5 expects the highest level of seismicity. Whereas zone 2 is associated with lowest level of seismicity. So zone 5 is highest and zone 2 is lowest. Each zone indicates the effect of earthquake at particular place, which is described using a scale like modified Merkley intensity scale, which is used to measure intensity of earthquake. National Center for Seismology. So what is seismology? Seismology is a scientific study of earthquake and seismic waves of earth. The National Center for Seismology is a nodal agency for seismic activities in India, which comes under Ministry of Earth Science, deals with various activities in field of seismology in India. So what are the major activities of National Center for Seismology. First one is earthquake monitoring on 24 into 7 basis. Real time seismic monitoring for early warning of tsunamis. So we all know that earthquake is one of the reason for tsunamis. Operation and maintenance of national seismological networks. Seismological Data Center and Information Services Seismic Hazard and Risk Related Studies Field Studies for Aftershock, Swarm Monitoring and Site Response Studies Earthquake Processes and Modeling So NCS is located at New Delhi Coming to the zone 5, very severe intensity zone. So as you can see in the map, the red indicates zone 5. Parts of Jammu and Kashmir, especially Kashmir Valley. Western part of Himachal Pradesh. Eastern part of Uttarakhand. Kutch in Gujarat. Part of Northern Bihar, all northeastern states of India and Andaman Nicobar Islands. This all comes under Zone 5. Coming to the Zone 4, Severe Intensity Zone. Ladakh and remaining part of Jammu and Kashmir except Kashmir Valley. Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, some parts of Haryana, parts of Punjab, Delhi, Sikkim, northern part of Uttar Pradesh, small portion of Bihar, West Bengal, parts of Gujarat, small portion of Maharashtra near west coast. 
some parts of western rajasthan coming to the zone 3 moderate intensity zone kerala andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu karnataka these are all our southern states most of the southern states come under zone 3 goa lakshadweep islands lakshadweep islands come under zone 3 and andaman nicobar comes under zone 5 remaining part of gujarat maharashtra odisha bihar and punjab parts of west bengal mostly southern part northern part comes under zone 4 northern part of jharkhand and chhattisgarh come into the zone 2 low intensity zone remaining parts of rajasthan up gujarat haryana madhya pradesh maharashtra odisha andhra pradesh telangana karnataka and tamil nadu most of the southern states comes under zone 3 and 2 all northeast state states comes under zone 5 places in north also comes under zone 5 if you observe the map zone 5 and zone 4 seismic activity occurs in north and northeast region which are near to the himalayas we all know that himalayas are fold mountains and engaged mountains those are formed due to indian plate driving into the asian tectonic plate that's why the seismic activity in Himalayan region. Approx 11% of country falls under zone 5. 18% in zone 4. 30% in zone 3. Remaining in zone 2. Total 59% of land mass of India is prone to earthquakes of different intensities. So we have covered all the areas which comes under seismic activity if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel thank you